a personal video. I haven't done any of these in a while. So, I think it'd be cool. You know, tell you about my life, yada, yada, yada. I'll probably do two of these with the same outfit, so sorry. But I'll spread them out. I promise. So, I'm super excited because Master and I are redoing our contract. So, we had one when we first started BDSM. And, of course, as you grow... And as you go along in your relationship, your BDSM relationship, things change. You want different things, you want things changed. So, I'm super excited. We're going to be working on our new contract with new rules, new um, new things to do and try. Excuse me. And stuff like that. I'm really, 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 really excited about this. Because it's... What the heck? I'm so burpy. Sorry. Um. So, <laughs> anyways... Um, it's been so long. Like, literally, we wrote our first one, maybe, I've been calling him for about 10 years now. So we wrote our first one almost 9 years ago, I want to say. Because we didn't really have a contract when we first started. It was more of, I was curious, you know, how does this all work? Asking 50 million questions, Googling everything, you know, so on and so forth, yada, yada, yada. You know, the beginning of being a submissive, you know. You search, do your research. And everything else so um, I pretty much was doing all that and we were trying things and we made a contract and then I know everyone's like you should have a contract first but we kind of did it a little backwards um, so we made a contract now we will be making a new contract with new things because we've tried a bunch of different things <laughs> I remember starting out I literally was like what's this what's that what's this can you what can you get some to do can they do this can they do that um, so on and so forth so like it's super interesting to be able to, you know, sit down and talk and actually be like, hey, I am comfortable with this now. Can we add this in the contract? Or, hey, can I change my safe word? Or, you know, stuff like that. So I've changed my safe word, which is really cool because, like, the one I had was really, really weird once I figured out, you know, figured out what it tied to um, with family. And I was like, yeah, we're not going to use that anymore. It's kind of awkward. Um, so, uh... So, yeah, so, like, it, it was, my safe word was Rose, and then I found out, like, someone used that as their confirmation name, and they've been using that for other things, and I'm like, yeah, that makes me feel a little awkward now having that as my safe word, so can we change that? So, I'm super excited about it. We'll be writing up a whole new contract, and everything, and typing it up, and signing it, um, and stuff like that. Um, with everything that was going on, I have been recollared, because I was kind of uncollared, um, I don't want to go into full details really, but some things happened with our relationship. Um, someone needed help. Um, finally snapped out of it. Doesn't need help anymore. But, yeah. So, things are better. Um, back to normal. So, I'm really excited about that. Super, super, super excited about that. Um, I'm glad things are back to normal. I'm also excited the fact that I can stream on Twitch and stuff now since I'm building a PC um we've moved I will do a house tour eventually I kind of want to wait till master's desk is set up in the, the computer room before I do that um so that'll be interesting we're gonna have a his and hers gaming room I'm super excited about this <laughs> um anyways so I'm super excited about that I'm super excited about the fact that we're we're doing our, we're doing our contract. Um, you can do that, by the way. That is allowed. Um, if anyone tells you no, your contract is binding, you can't redo it. Yes, you can. If there's something you like, but didn't like in the first place, you can take that off. If there's something you want to try, or another hard limit you want to add, add the hard limit. Always, your, your relationship is always going to be changing. Like, I'm really not into being ABDL too much anymore, sadly, because I feel like my environment is not comfortable enough for me to feel little again. It's sad, but that's it's kind of how it's kind of how things work. You kind of need to have that comfort space in order to get into that mindset or into that comfort, you know, like comfort into that mindset. Um, and I don't feel like I have a comfortable place to be in that mindset to age regress. Um, or not age regress, age play. Wrong one. Ignore that. That was wrong. Age regression is done with the psychiatrist. Anyways, age play. Again, um, I really enjoyed it the few years I did it, don't get me wrong, but the last apartment had nowhere for me to feel comfortable. It was really small, and this apartment doesn't really have anywhere for me to feel comfortable. This bedroom is not really big, and 
I own too much shit. So that's why I'm working on getting rid of stuff. That's why people keep seeing so much stuff go on my Depop. Um, I'll be adding more stuff on my Depop as I go. Costumes, probably some more onesies, you know, so on and so forth. Stuff like that. Um, so... Yeah, um, anyways, but yeah, your contract, it can change. You can change things, add things, redo it. Um, we're redoing it because we don't know where our, where our old one went. Um, so anyways, it's it's kind of void now, I guess you'd say, because a lot of things have changed, so it really re need redone. Anyways, so, yeah, um, ooh. If you guys have any questions, um, leave those down below. I'll answer them in a video, uh, and whatnot. But yeah, I thought I'd share the fun joy that I'm super excited about because it's just been it's been so long. It's been so long since so we sat down and talked and changed everything and talked about you know hard limits, soft limits. What's okay? What's not okay? What do I want to try now? What do I not want to try? What have we already tried that I like? Let's add that in there. You know stuff like that it's it's just it makes me super excited I'm super excited about this um and I feel bad that I don't really let you guys into my life that much but there's some things I just don't really want to share and I really don't want to put my whole life on the internet so sorry I love you guys but I just don't want my whole life on the internet um so I'll share with you bits and pieces of my life though uh so yeah um I'm also trying to be a full-time streamer and full-time um content creator on the internet because of COVID, I really don't want to get a normal job, and also my fibromyalgia, normal job. Okay, sorry. To me, modeling online is a normal job. People don't consider that a normal job. Um, with my fibromyalgia, it's really hard for me to work retail and anything else. So I really enjoy doing content online. I really enjoy streaming. Um, I really enjoy you guys. I enjoy my community. I want to grow and you know, get more people talking. Like it kind of makes me sad that a lot of people don't talk to me much anymore. They just kind of like like my photos and then that's it. Um, I do try to answer you guys. I'm sorry if no one's talking because I don't answer you. Sometimes people will comment on something like I posted months ago and I don't notice it. Or like I get so many likes and your comment gets pushed out of my, you know, out of my notification. So I'm really sorry if you guys feel like I'm ignoring you because I didn't see the comment on my Instagram or like Twitter or something. I promise you, I know you're there and I'm sorry if someone gets get pushed out. Um... But I appreciate every single one of you. Don't be afraid to say hi. Don't be afraid to comment. I'm not huge and can't answer you. Um, some people probably think I am. But to be honest, I'm really not that huge. I'm not Scream Kiwi or like anybody else online. Pokey Princess, anything like that. I'm not. I'm not huge. I'm, I'm still a nobody. So I don't think I don't see you. I promise I do. I love you guys. I really do. Um, so that's pretty much my life right now. We're doing a new contract. I mostly do Twitch and online modeling. Um, staying home with a doggo, trying to stay safe, um, so, yeah, um, also I'll be getting nose surgery, uh, either in August or September, my doctor still doesn't call me back yet to schedule that, um, no, it's not to have my nose done, um, it's to fix, there's like little fluid in my pocket over here or something, and my nasal terminates are too big which would explain why I sound really nasally when I'm talking on videos um I hear it I don't know if you guys notice it I notice it I'm my worst enemy with all that shit because I have body dysmorphia so like I notice everything that needs changed everything needs fixed um anyways so they're too big so I'm not getting much air in my nose so my doctor's gonna shrink those down a little bit so I can actually breathe um I'm half tempted to make the joke though can you fix my nose while you're at it because again body dysmorphia. I really hate my nose. I hate the way my eyes look. I hate my face. I hate my mouth. Yeah, I hate everything. Anyways, enough about my issues. Um, so maybe I'll do a video on body dysmorphia and my anorexia because I also have that too. If you guys want to see, if not, that's fine, but I might do one anyways just because I feel like people need to know that, you know, I'm, I've had my issues. Um, you're not alone, but anyways, this is long enough. I've rambled enough. I love